Alright, today I'm going to go over how to make a prelude style patch for the micro -Korg from the Final Fantasy series. My inspiration was Final Fantasy 7, but you can more closely resemble this style patch to maybe Final Fantasy 9, which was more of a realistic patch. It's maybe a hybrid between the two, so it sounds a little original, kind of new. So the original patch in Final Fantasy VII, I'm going to assume, was made on a roll-in sound canvas. It probably used one of the built-in harp patches. Um, they did use the sound canvas quite a lot in the series, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just choose a patch I don't want anymore, which is a sound effect one. I'm going to go ahead and clear it out, so I'm going to make it an init patch. So to do that is you hold down Shift, press 3, Press 3 again, and that makes an init patch. So now we have a sawtooth init patch. Just a basic sawtooth patch with no attack, no re release. It's more gated. So, all right, let's get started. We'll use oscillator 1 first. And the way it's laid out on this synth is your first control here is actually the waveform. So we're going to choose a digital waveform. The digital waveforms on this are kind of like a wavetable. Not exactly, but they're, they're a sampled waveform. So let's go ahead and choose control 3 here, actually sets the waveform. And we're going to choose 12, which is kind of a square wave and a sine wave mashed together. Kind of sounds like a triangle wave, but not exactly. Sounds nice and rounded though. So now we're going to switch to oscillator 2. And for oscillator 2, we're going to pick a saw wave. And we're not going to change any of the other settings. Again, I used control 1, which is the waveform. So now we're going to move over to the mixer. So we're over to the mixer now. And the first control is oscillator 1's volume. And the second control is oscillator 2's volume. We can't hear the second oscillator yet. And we're going to go ahead and turn the second oscillator to around 64. The reason I added a second oscillator to this is to add kind of a string sound to it since, I mean, we are kind of doing a harp here. So just that string buzz. All right. So the next section we're going to look at is the filter section. And what we want to do is we want to choose a 12 dB per octave filter, which is the default filter. And the second control is going to be your cutoff, and we want to change the cutoff to around 80. So now that the cutoff is set to 80, it'll start shaping up a little better. All right, so the next thing we want to add is some resonance, which is control three. We want to change that to around 28. All right, starting to sound really good. So the next thing we're going to shape is the uh, amplitude envelope. So we want to add a tiny bit of attack, about a two or a three here. The actual um, decay setting, we want to have set to around um, 78, 78 to 80, somewhere around there. I'm just gonna use 78. Uh, sustain needs to be set to zero. And then the release, we're gonna set to around 90. So uh, let's give that a listen. Starting to sound really good. Almost starting to sound like what we want. Now we're going to go ahead and add a few more things to make it sound a little better. So let's go to mod effects. It's the second control here. So we'll go ahead and change it to mod effects. And this gives us our modulation effects that we can add. And we're going to go ahead and add an, an ensemble which is in the middle here. So we have the ensemble. The second control for that is speed. So we want to change the speed to around 15. And then the third control to that is the depth of the effect. So the depth of the effect needs to be set to around 50. <laughs> 
So that's going to add a bit of modulation, but it's also going to widen the stereo field a little to make it a little more expansive. All right. Now the next thing we want to add is a little bit of delay. Actually, we want to add quite a bit of delay because if you listen to the Final Fantasy VII prelude, it has a repeating underlying delay to it. So let's go ahead and add the delay. So the first control is the type of delay, and we're going to use a stereo delay, which is the first um, option here. It should be by default, I believe. Just make sure it says STR for stereo. Um, the second control is tempo sync. We can turn that off. We don't really care. So the uh, third control on this is going to be the actual time. So we want to change the time to around 70, so we get some nice repeat in there. And then the fourth control is the depth, and we want to really hear it, so let's go ahead and change it to around 80. It's starting to sound kind of like what we want. It's actually starting to sound really good. So that's pretty much it um, for the actual patch. And now what we're going to do, so I don't have to sit here and actually play the arpeggiation, which is really simple. It's just uh, G, A, B, and then D. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the arpeggiator since this has a really good arpeggiator and has the perfect settings we need for it. So to set it, we want to go to arpeggiation A on the control down here. And the first control is going to be tempo. We want a tempo right around 70. I mean, that sounds pretty good. So let's go to around 70. Your second control is going to be over, I think your second control, that's that's the um, resolution. We don't need to change that, that's fine. The third control is going to be gate time. And we want to turn the gate time up. That's basically how long the arpeggiator holds down the note. So we want to have it at about 100 or like at the top setting. So, And then we want to change the type to alternate 1, which will play up finish and then start playing down. Okay, so it's set to alternate one, and then we want to change the octave amounts to four. So it's going to play four octaves, basically, of what you hold down. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And to, to latch it so you don't have to actually press anything else, you want to hold down the button for arpeggiator until it turns red. Um, it might be different on other uh, synths or other versions of the microcorg, but this is red for telling you that it's in latch mode. So basically all you need to do to get started is hold down uh, G, A, B, and D and go ahead and get started. And there you go. Our uh, Final Fantasy 7 style prelude patch. Hope you guys like this.